as I was thinking about that whole idea that Peter's shadow would heal people, what clicked for me as just in the middle of the blue, I was minding my own business. I was weaving some cloth and it just boom, just like that. Psalms 91. We got to read some of these. These are so cool. It just, you know how you get that click and it just, well, it's not a literal click. <laughs> All of a sudden something drops into your spirit. And so I wanted to share it with you. And some of you won't already know where I'm going with this. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. See, Peter moved into the shadow of God. And the shadow of God so overwhelmed Peter that it overflowed from him and healed people. And so even when he walked by, his shadow could heal people. And the, and the community kind of got, got with it. They understood that this could happen. So they started, you know, the hospital turned out on the porch and in the driveway and on the sidewalk. And so put your hospital bed there because that's a place of healing. The place of the shadow of the Almighty. That was an anointing that was on Peter's life. You know, I have I have loved the story of Bezalel for years and years and years because I'm an artist and I just love this story. Uh, uh, Exodus 31, 1. Then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with skill, ability, and knowledge in all kinds of crafts to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and bronze. All of the stuff that exists in heaven, Petzalo created it into the in in the earth in the physical realm. I mean, I think that's like the the highest calling of an artist is to create something that exists. It's actually the highest calling of any of us to create something that exists in the heavenly realm and to release it in the in the physical realm right here where we live, where we can interact with it in the physical realm. That is a really cool thing. I think that is so cool. And so when we are in the shadow of God. By the way, I'm saying this because the word, the name Betzalel is uh, what it means in the shadow of God. I mean, I realize maybe I should have said that a little bit ago. <laughs> Betzalel means in the shadow of God. And he created out of the place of being in the shadow of God. And his work was so prophetic. We got to see things that exist in the heavenly realm because he created them. You know, I didn't get to see them, but the people of Israel got to see them. They followed the ark around. They, they got to see the amazing weaving. They got to see all of that amazing artwork. And I just think that's so cool. Bezalel in the shadow of God. But then even just a little bit ago, I remembered, hey, didn't Mary experience the shadow of God? Luke 1 35 and the power of the Most High will overshadow you this was a conversation between her and the angel and she's like well how can I be the mother of Jesus I've never known a man and the angels like power of the Most High will overshadow you I just have always been like what does that mean what <laughs> what is that even how is that you know it's okay I don't have to understand it but this word overshadow and that what came out of Mary being overshadowed was the birth of Jesus in the world, brought salvation, prophetic, healing, all of that compassion of Jesus, it got released into the world. And so when we come into that place in the shadow of God, we come to the impartation of Peter's shadow where he just walked by and, and healing was imparted to the people. We come into the protection of Psalm 91, which talks about how his feathers, you know, how we are gathered in and how we are held in safety. And in Exodus, Bezalel is, um, Bezalel's name means in the shadow of God. And he was an artist and a creative, and he released into the physical realm things that existed in the eternal spiritual realm with God. I think that's so cool. And Mary, she was overshadowed by the Holy Spirit. And through her came compassion and salvation. And it was a remarkable earth-changing moment for us all.